Hey YouTube, Shoko04 here. Hey, so today I want to talk to you about how to properly size a solar PV photovoltaic system for your house. Now the first thing you have to do is go and get yourself uh, one of your old electric bills. And you're going to use that electric bill to find out what the average amount of electricity you used last year was for a month. So take all the months, add them up, divide by 12, and that's your average monthly use. So in this example here, we're going to assume that I used 1 megawatt, or 1,000 kilowatts per month. That's my, uh, my electrical load. And what you do now is take that number and divide it by 30. And what that's going to do is tell you the number of kilowatts per day that you've actually been using. So 1,000 divided by 30 becomes 33.33. Now here's the hard part, or the part that, again, you have to do a little legwork on. You need to find the value of average hours of sunlight for your area. I've included a uh, link down below to a map that you can look at, and it'll tell you, it'll give you a number. The number is going to be anywhere between four and, or maybe three and a half and six and a half. That's the average hours of annual sunlight for your location. In New Mexico, where I lived, that was six. So, in the case of this example, we take 33.33 and divide it by six. And that will tell us the size of the system that we need. In this case, that works out to be a 5.55 kW system. Is what I need hanging out on the wall and up on the roof in the six hours of daylight to generate the 33.3 kilowatts that I use every day to make the 1,000 kilowatts that I use every month. Now, here's the next question. How many panels does that translate into? How many solar panels am I looking to buy? Well, find this, find, find this a reseller, find, whether it's me or what are you buying them on the internet or you're buying them locally or whatever you can do. Ask them what the, basically the, the, the panels that are most available at the moment are. Right now, those panels are uh, between 275 and 300 watts each. So in this example, we're going to use a 300 watt panel. We take this 5.55 and divide it by 0.3 and get 18.5. That's the number of panels that we would need to have on the roof in order to generate the 5.55 kW and the 33.33 kW per day. So in this case, I would actually recommend my customer go up to a 20 panels, 20 panel system. And here's why. You can't mount 18 panels in a, in a uniform configuration without having some goal, holes or gaps somewhere. But with a 20 panel system, you can do four high and five wide. And there's your 20 panels. If you have any questions about the, uh, the math I used to configure, calculate this value let me know I'll be happy to answer questions and if you would subscribe to my channel I'd appreciate it because I'll be coming out with more or more videos soon on how you can uh, basically install your own solar okay this is uh, Shelka 04 out thank you